You can use menu buttons to select subtitle tracks and audio tracks. Let me show you how that works by going to Working Files, Encore Projects, and scrolling down here to 1303 Subtitle Audio Links. Now when I talked about using buttons to create links, I talked about how they link to six different assets, and I didn't mention subtitles and audio tracks because I don't really consider them links to assets. I consider them switches. You're switching these guys on or off or changing them. So that's why I've created this separate tutorial just to talk about audio tracks and subtitles. So viewers of your project can always change audio tracks and subtitle tracks using the remote control, but it's good to give them a menu to let them do it too, because some people are not really cognizant of how that works. So give them a menu so they can switch from one to the other. There are several approaches you can take to how you set audio tracks and subtitle tracks. For example, you can have people click on a button and it just turns on the subtitles or turns them off, period, and they don't see that happen until they actually go play a movie. Or you can have it turn it on and take you back to a menu where they can then click on a button to play the movie. Or you can have them click on a button to change subtitles and it'll immediately play that movie. There are various approaches. So I'm going to show you all three approaches here. Let's start with the top one here, English subtitles, and click on that. And you can see that I've got this timeline down here with three subtitle tracks, English, French, and German, DE for Deutsch, and then two audio tracks, the original music and this other music that I created for these videos that we got from Digital Juice. So let's just take a look first at the English subtitles. I click on that. There's only one way that you can set this link to have it change subtitles, and that's by clicking on it, opening up the Properties panel over here, and going to the Link Flyout menu. That's the only way you can do this. Click on this and go down to Specify Link. And in there, you're going to see two things at the bottom, Subtitle and Audio. So our concern here is Subtitle. We want it to be Subtitle Track 1 right there. And we're choosing 1 because Subtitle Track 1 is the English subtitle track right there. So now I need to give it a target. I need to say, okay, we're picking the subtitle track, but we need to go somewhere after we do that. So I want to take folks back to this menu that we just came from, this audio and subtitle menu. So I need to click this little flyout menu here to see all the various buttons. And I want to go back and highlight English subtitles. So that one will be kind of a reminder to the viewer that this is the one that they just switched on. So I click that and then click OK. So let's see how that works. I'm going to preview from here. There you go. And now I'm going to click on English subtitles, and nothing happened, but we came back to this menu, and English subtitles is still highlighted. And now if I go back to the main menu and play the main movie, you're going to see English subtitles here in just a second. There you go, like that. So I'll exit out of that. So that's how that works. It kept them in the menu. Then they had the option of going back or doing whatever they want after that point. And once you set a subtitle track, then that subtitle track will play for every timeline. Your viewer needs to change to another track if they want to see different subtitles or if they want to turn them off. That's something they need to be proactive about. So once it's set, it stays there. Let's go over to the French one here, click on that. I want to do a different approach here. Go to the Link Flyout menu, down to Specify Link. We're going to click on subtitle number two for that one. There we go. That's the French track down here, right there. And I want to have this button take folks back to the main menu. And I want to highlight the main movie. I want it to be the selected button right like that. So I'll click OK for that. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to right click here and go preview from here. Now I'm going to click on French subtitles and it's going to take us back to the main menu with the main movie highlighted. So to make sure that you can see that happening, I'm going to take my cursor away and use this enter key to do that. And there you can see the main movie has the highlight by it. If I click enter, we'll play that. I have French subtitles now. Get pod. Okay. Oh. Go back to the main menu by clicking the execute end action. There you go. If I want to go back and let's say play the English version, now I go back to here, click on English. Nothing will happen because it took us back to this menu. Go back to the main menu and play it again, and now English will be the one. There we go. So exit out of there. Let's just do it slightly differently now for the German subtitles. I'll click on that to make it active, and again we go to link. Go to the Flyout menu, go down to Specify Link, and this time I want to actually play the timeline. When they play it, the new subtitles will show up there. So I'm going to go to Wildlife to make it the target. I want to say Subtitle Track 3. I'm going to click on German subtitles here, and that will immediately play the video with German subtitles showing. Der Gepard skant die Landschaft. Okay, very good. Finally, what about no subtitles? After folks have done this, they've got some subtitles going and they may want to switch them off. Well, again, they can use their remote for that, but they may not get how to do that. So let's give them a button to do that. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to go down to the link. 
I'm going to specify link, and this time I'm going to say off. That way it's really clear what's going to go on here. I want to take folks back to the main menu for this one. So we'll do that and click on main menu with the main movie active and click OK. So now if we just right click on this guy, I'm going to go to German subtitles like that. I'm going to do the end action. Now go back to the audio subtitle track, click no subtitles, click on main movie now, and there are no subtitles. That's how that works. Let's talk about audio tracks. So I'll click on this one. Now the audio track one is on by default. Subtitles are off by default for this project, which is normal. And audio track one is on by default, which is also normal. So, you know, do you really need to have a button for audio track one? Well, yeah, you do because people might switch to audio track two and then want to go back to audio track one. Because again, once you set an audio track, then it's consistent throughout. So I'll click on this button to make it active. Go over to the link here, go down to specify link. And this time we're talking about the audio track. So I'm going to click on audio instead. And I want audio track one for that one. And I want to, let's say, go back to the main menu in this one and highlight the main movie, have it be the selected button and click OK. And I want to now do the one for the audio two. I think you get how this works. So I'll just fix audio two as well. So I'll click on that one, go to the link again, specify link. And this time we're going to have it actually play the video. So I'll click on this one and we'll have it go to audio track two for this guy. There we go. Click OK. All right, let's see how this thing works from the main menu. So I'll click Preview. I want to go to Audio and Subtitle there. And right now, if you look over here to the left, you see that no subtitles are active. I'm going to click on Audio 2. There we go. Plays that second audio track at the end action. That takes us back to the main menu. Let's go over to here. Click on Audio 1 now. It should take us back to the original track. I'll go back to the main movie. There we go. Did its job. Let's just change that to the second one again. Go back over here and change to a different subtitle. We'll go to German subtitles, which automatically starts playing it, and it should play with that second audio track. Exactly, with the German subtitles. So that's how it works. That's how you can take buttons and use them to switch subtitle tracks on or off, switch among subtitle tracks, and do the same thing with audio tracks.